All around us, we are surrounded by written and spoken content, and one not as calm by ideas and thoughts. Now here's a thought. What is the world without words? As the saying goes, actions speak louder than words. It is words that move the heart that ignites action. I'm Jo Shen Kwan, and this media by honors our raw material, our source of energy, our fuel, our grain, words. Back to words. Infants are taught, foreigners learn, and even animals learn to mimic sounds to communicate with us. But where do words come from? Without going too far back into time or too deep into etymology, here's a brief summary of how English words have been created. One, borrowed from Latin and Greek. In the Middle Ages, Latin and Greek were the languages of scholars and educated people. Thus, thinkers and writers use Latin and Greek in their work, and that's how they made their way into the language. Two, trademark words that became more commonplace, such as Google, Xerox, or Kleenex. Three, initials and acronyms that become commonplace and replace their original words, such as zip code, CAT scan, TGIF. Blends and clippings of words, such as motel from motor and hotel, brunch from breakfast and lunch, flu from influenza. Five, imitation of sounds, such as wolf, meow, pop, snap, slap, bam. Six, industry-generated words. The art industry, tech industry, entertainment industry, and many other industries, they contribute to new vocabulary, such as bites, bromance, selfies. Now, what about other words, such as Chinese? As weird as they may seem, Chinese characters are block-shaped logograms that convey meaning in a tidy way, either on their own or combined with other characters. They're classically formed in six ways, and here are the most common four. One, pictographs. Generally the oldest characters, they are stylized drawings that reimagine the objects they represent. Two, ideographs. Abstract ideas expressed using iconic forms to convey them, such as above and below. Three, compound ideographs. Combining pictographic or ideographic characters together to convey meaning. Four, phonosemantic compounds. When you combine a phonetic component to approximate the pronunciation with a semantic component to convey meaning. And actually, you can say mu mu mu, which means to wash a wooden insect. On the other hand, modern Chinese words can be like English, borrowed from other languages, or recently invented from various professional or recreational fields. As you can see, the human languages are creative, alive, and constantly changing just like we are because they are our inventions, they come from our imagination and our ability to create. It is with this power of creation that we form dialogue, content, ideas, strategy, and it's how we innovate and inspire others to do the same, thus propelling the world to turn. So what are we trying to say with this media bite? That as content creators, we love what we do because we're harnessing our intuitive nature of telling stories, sharing knowledge, and inspiring action. And we're actually carrying on traditions as it had all begun a long time ago. Thank you.